Only on 13 tonight, a remarkable story of survival and a long recovery full of ups and downs. But as Sunrise anchor Julia Moffat explains, one woman Rebecca Overman met along the way inspired her to do something most people in her situation would never even think to try. Mind if I get a good picture of you? Oh, he doesn't mind. A picture perfect day at the zoo. I don't think you can pet him. And in the middle of it all, <laughs> Rebecca Overman is hand in hand with her niece and nephews. Nine months ago, this day seemed impossible. I shouldn't have lived. I shouldn't have recovered. I shouldn't be walking. A golf cart accident nearly killed her. In August, Rebecca and four other nurses working at Riley Hospital summer camp were hurt when their golf cart flipped over. I hit my head back here, but with my head rocking, all the injury was in the right frontal lobe, and then there was so much swelling. Her skull fractured in three places. Medics lifelined her to Methodist, barely alive. Family and friends rushed to her side, including sister-in-law Chelsea. We didn't even know if she was going to make it that night. Rebecca stayed in a coma for four weeks. Her sister Laura documented each step of the way. Anxious crowds in the waiting room. Family standing by her bed. Even a lighter moment. Laura painting her toes. When Rebecca woke up, her long hair had been cut off, her head a maze of stitches and staples. Her muscles atrophied from weeks without use. She struggled with a traumatic brain injury, relearning how to walk, talk, even eat. Each thing was a big deal, you know, her just moving. As Rebecca's smile returned, the nieces and nephews visited and sent videos. I love you so much with all my heart. Nine-year-old Aiden had a special job. He was the only one that could kind of keep her calmed and, and everything like that and laughing. I made fart noises. Rebecca spent part of her recovery at a rehabilitation facility in Michigan. While there, staff introduced her to another Hoosier recovering from a traumatic brain injury. Andrea Valinga barely survived the State Fair stage collapse three years ago. But she talked to me, and it was the first time I had hope. She told me she was jogging. At that point, Rebecca was barely walking, but Andrea's progress helped plant a seed. She said she was training for the mini. So when I learned how to walk again up in Michigan, I kept thinking, Andrea's jogging. Maybe I can jog. Six months after the accident, Rebecca was finally strong enough to move back home. She hit the gym, working out to regain strength and running with the mini on her mind. When the running gets really hard, I tell myself, Rebecca, in September you couldn't walk. In October you were in a wheelchair. Who cares how fast you're running? You're running. Be thankful. I thought it was an awesome goal. Rebecca's sister, Laura, is not surprised by her sister's determination. It's an inspiration to me that she can she can go through all the trauma that she did and still press on and I can it it makes me double check what I complain about on a day-to-day -day basis. Rebecca just recently returned to work as an oncology nurse at Riley. For the first time in eight months it's not all about me. It's not all about my recovery, how I'm doing, what I'm taking. I'm getting to care for other families and patience, which I've always loved, but now I feel like more thankful for it. I love Dolphin Show. I know. Thankful for days like this with family who've been there every step of the way. <sighs> and will be there when she crosses that finish line on race day. Doctors say Rebecca's recovery is nothing short of amazing, considering she wasn't even expected to live through the night of that accident. Rebecca says she is ready for the mini marathon, and she will be running it side by side with Andrea Valinga, with their family and friends cheering them on all the way.